It is safe to say that when you think of tourist attractions in California, the San Andreas Fault is not one of them. And it is definitely not a place anyone wants to be during a major earthquake. But there's an unknown area where you can actually hike inside the fault zone. Reporter David Begno take, gives us a tour. Deep in California's Palm Desert, three hours east of downtown Los Angeles, is some of the state's most spectacular scenery. And it's right in the middle of one of the deadliest earthquake zones in the world. This is the San Andreas Fault Zone. This is where the rock breaks and moves and moves the earth. It's incredible to be in here. It's the bones of the earth exposed right here. This is where the rock is breaking and moving. Morgan Levine traded a 20-year career as a fine art appraiser to become a tour guide. She now drives people through an area as potentially dangerous as it is perfectly breathtaking. It's so dramatic. It's such a tortured landscape because of this movement. Is this a lot like art? This is definitely art, definitely art. Um, just the greatest artist, Mother Nature. So you're looking at the skeleton of our planet. You're seeing plate tectonics happen. Each year, thousands of tourists experience this earthly marvel. Desert Adventures offers a guide, a jeep, and an excursion through one of Earth's greatest forces. You're expecting a crack, and uh, what you're going to see is the fault, but it's a fault zone, and it's not just a crack. Way up there. You On this tour, the, the Kolb family got a lesson in seismic activity 101. See how the magazine is slowly folding like that? That's how that hill got there. And now, look at that, looks like a wave. So it started out like this, but look, it's folded into a syncline now. One of the most popular spots on the tour is Slot Canyon. You can walk through it, and boy, is it incredibly tight. On one side, you've got the North American plate. On the other side, it is the Pacific. And this is evidence of millions of years of movement and pressure between two plates that have now created this incredible landscape. You don't see things like this in Los Angeles because there's buildings on top of the fault line. And the city hall in Los Angeles has moved 10 feet since the day it was built. You just don't see it creeping and moving. But in the desert, the grinding and colliding of tectonic plates has lifted layers of rock that Levine says dates back 2 million years. Every layer that you see in these walls, it is a flash flood. And now the floods uh, where they lay down rocks are being tilted and lifted by the energy of the, of the earth. Some of these rocks are up to 300 feet high, making an interview, even on a smaller one, pretty precarious. When you meet people in public and you tell them what you do and you try to attract them to come here, what do you tell them that they're going to see? I tell them they're going to see some of the most incredible landscape they've ever seen in their life and something they've probably never seen in their life. It'll take your breath away as much as, a, as sculptures by Bernini or, or a Michelangelo. It's absolutely uh, the greatest artist in the world. This is Mother Nature. She's got a great palette here. You might call the forces behind these massive quake sculptures the art world's biggest movers and shakers. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm David Begno in Palm Desert, California. She's right, they are works of art. They're just lovely. Did you notice as we were watching that everyone in the studio was silent? We all just wanted to stare. Yeah. It is so breathtaking. Yeah, stunning, stunning.